The results of the Bureau's experiment demonstrate some very serious concerns and an emerging crisis inside Glen Canyon Dam because of Lake Powell's falling water levels. Water from Lake Powell typically flows through the Glen Canyon Dam's hydropower turbines. In a new experiment, the Bureau of Reclamation tested a lower set of water tubes to see if water can still be delivered to the communities that need it as water levels shrink. It started shaking apart and starting to get structural damage. So the results of the experiment demonstrate that these tubes cannot be used to deliver large volumes of water downstream. Executive Director of the California, Utah Rivers Nevada, Council, Zach Arizona. Frankel, says these lower tubes were designed in the 1950s, meant for temporary use during construction. The plumbing design of Glen Canyon Dam is archaic. It's just too old. It's literally antique plumbing, and it's going to have to be fixed by lowering the bypass tubes to a lower water level, presumably at riverbed level. Frankel says it could cost hundreds of millions of dollars to replace these tubes. And if the Bureau of Reclamation doesn't do this, Utahns will likely suffer. If we don't find a way to get enough water past Glen Canyon Dam by fixing this plumbing, then we're going to see water cuts inside Utah. And it could be coming to some of the suburbs of the Wasatch Front. Every Utah should be paying attention to this crisis because we're gonna have to take water cuts if we don't solve it. The results of the experiment were published in a memo from the Bureau of Reclamation. Jenna Bree, Fox 13 News, Utah.